everyone. Quentin the Bear here. We're back at Temporary Resort because I'm in a lounge mood. We don't have a reservation for anything at nope. Contemporary. Nope. We just wander. We're going to hang out at the lounge. So let's go munch. Let's go lounge and subscribe. I heard the girl. I feel like it's a good replacement to the Seven Seas Lagoon. I don't have to modify it to make it vegan. But I do miss the Seven Seas Lagoon. I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five beverages. It's a good fish bowl. But there could be more. And I'm here for the more. Not everybody wants to drink like a whole thing of tequila. As a spiritual successor to the Seven Seas Lagoon, I am privileged and lucky the princess even lets me drink out of this thing. She drinks this whole thing by herself. In her own castle. Called the Contemporary. Let me go check for I complain a lot about sweet drinks, but the 1971 Sunset is one of those drinks that balances its alcohol content with the juiciness. It's just juicy enough not to get on my nerves. And just enough alcohol where you finish this, you might actually let me get into start in Canada tomorrow. Four out of five points. Did you just say start in Canada? Because you started in Mexico. If you didn't call, catch what I said, then we're starting again. So here we have the Fig Manhattan. Before even looking at the alcohol, figs are questionable in the vegan community, so none for the princess, all for me. I love this tree. Probably one of my favorite Manhattans on Disney property. That is like smoked turkey level <laughs> meat, but other than five out of five plus, all that. This is very excessive. If you come here and you have a drink, you like bourbon. There's really no reason not to get this. Unless you're vegan, of course, then you might want to rethink your beverage choice. I'm not going to tell you to rethink your life. Your diet is your diet. We're all unique set of flowers in our soil. Bear is spoken. This is my beloved onion ring dish. Like, no matter what I order when I come to Steakhouse 71, the onion rings are always on the list. So, seeing it on the lounge menu made me super happy. And this plant-based dip is like literally everything. I wish Bear could have um, onion rings, but unfortunately due to his lactose intolerance and the connection with onions, he cannot. So this is all for me, and I'm so glad I don't have to share. Literally the best snack. Like, I would take this snack over any other snack that I could get. Here, Holly, or going for a date. It's just top tier. Shout out to Chef Nick for making this possible. Love you, you're amazing. And this is a five out of five. This is the Princess City's item, 100%. Whether you come to the lounge or the or you go to Steakhouse 71 restaurant, you need these onion rings in your life. Perfect junk food, vegan junk food item. So the infamous, infamous <laughs> Steakhouse 71 PB and J wings. Never had. I, I, I sort of like quit my wing journey for a while, especially after uh, COVID came and left, and then. Sort of been picking it back up recently. Uh, these look amazing. Like the display and the little basket. These are the same baskets you used to see the fritters in at um, Olivia's. But you have like the little pieces of peanut on there. You have the jelly glaze with like this little 
fire crumbles on top. No, it's five wings. Assuming they serve by weight. This is a lounge. I'm not trying to get full, but it is sticky. Like sticky icky. Woo! And hot. Mm, anyway. I'll be honest. I thought PB and J and wings was gonna be hot garbage. It worked very well. The whole chunks of peanut with the jelly glaze is perfection. It's like dessert chicken wings, but not overly sweet. I love it. Four and a half out of five plus. I can smell the peanut butter. You should. Nutty. Mm -hmm. Like me. Haven't you had PB and J wings before? I have had them once before. I don't think I liked them when I had them. I'm trying to remember where I had them. I feel like it was dumb. I may have been doing I don't think it was done on YouTube. I think it was. Was it on YouTube? I don't know. We'll have to look. If we can find the video where I had PB and J wings before, it'll be up in the corner here. But these, these are top tier wings. It's wing -er It'll give you wings. Without the crash. No launch pad. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna give these wings four and a half out of five points. My only regret is there's not more of them. If I could order a full platter of these, even at Steakhouse 71 prices, I would. Steakhouse 71 lounge, sometimes you just wanna be loungy. You wanna kick back. Hang out with the bartenders, have a drink or two, and snack. We love our bartenders here. They're all awesome. And the food is as incredible as eating at Steakhouse 71. So you should just come to the lounge if you're staying if you're temporary, you don't have anything to do. If you're waiting for Chef Mickey, it's closed. The lounge is always open. I'd much rather come here than go to Contempo Cafe again. Agreed. Yes, and I Agreed. want to know what you guys think. Have you ever just enjoyed a lounge at a Disney restaurant? Let us sure. know in the comments below. If there's any other lounge, you would like to see us visit, of course, that's always a new place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And if you don't, or if you comment, Bear might actually let me come back to Steakhouse 71 and do brunch. Maybe, but you had to like the video first. Comment you heard you, the girl. Comment if you want to see brunch.